if you guys haven't already realized, I usually take a lot of photos with the telephoto lens. So whether that be the 105mm, the 85mm or the 7200 and like when I take photos with that sort of focal range I'm pretty used to it because I understand the composition and how to use it to my advantage and I'm pretty comfortable with using those types of lenses. And in the past I used to actually use wide angles, I used to have a 20mm uh, f1.4 that I used to use with my Nikon. But I've sort of realised that I'm either sticking to just really wide angle lenses or really zoomed in telephoto lenses and I don't really play around with the mid-range focal length like it's funny to think that I own a 24 to 70 but I don't use the focal range between 24 to 70 so I thought today would be an interesting video if I use a focal range that I'm just not used to whatsoever so I thought I would try and use the Sigma 40mm f1.4 which is what I'm shooting with right now because I can't find my other lenses they're my house but who okay, cares, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I thought I would test out this 40mm lens and since it's raining today, yes, it rains during the summer in Melbourne, I thought that we would go out and go take some night shots and try and figure out how I would apply my knowledge of using both wide angles and mainly telephoto lenses into using such an awkward range that I'm not used to. You like shooting on a 40 mil, right? Yeah. And you said that it's one of your favorite lenses. Yeah. What makes it one of your favorite lenses? Um, well, you can just get really good depth with it, I guess. I like the 35 mil because it's super versatile. So the 40 mil, although it is five millimeters more zoomed in, but you don't really notice it that much compared to a 35 mil. The only bad side about it is it's so heavy, but they both can just shoot like such good depth and literally anything just looks good on either one of the lenses. So All right. I, I struggle to take a bad photo with the 40 mil. That's why I like it. <laughs> interesting. That's interesting because like, I just, because I'm always using telephoto lenses or yeah. I'm using wide angles, like a 14 mil or 20 mil that I had in the past. So like using 35 and 40 is just so weird. <laughs> it's such a weird lens to work with. I never understood it. That's because you just haven't had much experience. Exactly. But I guess today is just me just trying out and figuring out if I actually like the lens. Yeah, that's what it's about, yeah, man. Exactly. Just, w I would recommend with this lens, just sh get closer. Just yeah. Just get closer. That's okay. It. Fair so enough. That's whatever a good you point. think you're trying to shoot with a telephoto, if you're used to shooting more zoomed in, this is obviously just not that, so you need yeah, to get yeah. closer. So if you're not taking good shots, it's because you're not close enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. definitely an awesome like new experience trying to figure out how I would use a 40 mil in like street photography it was pretty fun and definitely a really good learning experience as well what kind of sucked was when we went to the city it actually stopped raining and since it was really hot the past few days the ground sort of just dried up instantly so there was absolutely no reflections or puddles that we could work with to make the um, scenery more moody which kind of sucked but Look, we still went out and took some photos and we had a fun time as well. So at the start of the shoot, I'm sure you guys can relate as well, is usually you actually start getting into the flow of taking photos, which usually means the first few photos aren't the best. And that was definitely the case for me. And especially since I was using a 40 mil, which is a lens that I just rarely use. So the first few photos that I took were really awkward in terms of composition and I just didn't like them whatsoever. And so further down the night, since Toby brought his light stick, we thought we would take some portraits of him. So um, this is the street shot that I got of him, like those street portrait photos. And honestly, like it's not bad, but I think I could have done better. Like if I maybe stayed in the center of the frame, like in the middle of the alleyway and stood further back to take a photo, I think it could have looked cooler, but then we started taking like actual portraits, like close-ups. And this is where this lens really excels. So, and so when I was taking photos of Liam, where the light bars were sort of divided and you have like a really dark um, section with like a really bright light, you can see that it has a lot of detail and a lot of depth, which looks awesome with this lens. And it's not too compressed to a point where um, your face just looks really flat compared to the background and it doesn't look really w weird and warped and, 
due to a wide lens. Like I think this is where the 40mm was perfect. Unfortunately, I shot this photo out of focus because I decided to use autofocus. But remember, if you're taking portrait photos, don't be like me and use manual focus. After a while, I started getting a more comfortable lens and understanding how I should use it. So one of the biggest things with the 40mm is that you need to get much closer to your subject compared to something like a 105. And that's something that's very apparent. And it's funny because since I got so close to the subjects, like they'll actually start noticing me and be like, yo, what's up? And it's pretty funny because like, I don't know, me being an introvert, I'm always like further away from the subject, taking photos of the 105. I think I prefer it that way. And so I started playing around with the more and really understanding how the lens works a bit more in terms of street photography. And with that, I started applying knowledge that I would do in the past with other lenses, like a telephoto lens, and sort of try and shoot through windows and just stuff like that in general. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the photos. I definitely think I would have done better if I took the photos with the 105 mil, just because I'm just used to the lens, but it was definitely a really cool learning experience. And I'm glad that I did it. Like it was a huge learning curve for me. Like I think now just from using um, those types of lenses, I can figure out that 40 mil will be better for portraits and the 105 or telephoto lenses will be more um, fun for like street photography I think. All of these photos were edited using my Lightroom presets so you can find that in the description box down below or on my Instagram bio. Each preset comes with its own individual tutorial that teaches you how to use them. There are 40 raw images that you can use as well that you can test and play around with and they're honestly a lot of fun to use like I love using them myself and it's a great learning platform as you can understand how I edit and apply it to your own edits in the future. The quote of the day comes from Sabri Jacobs and they said, keep the main thing the main thing. From my understanding, it's talking about committing to one certain action or pathway. So you actually commit to one thing and reject everything else. And that's sort of what I've been trying to take on for myself and learning how to do. So that's actually a really good quote that really applies to me at the moment. So remember, if you like this video and if you learned something from it, uh, leave a like down below or dislike if you want. Comment something down below as well if you want. Leave a quote of the day as well so I can read them out at the end of these videos. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and I guess I'll see you next time.